But I know our next one, it's a video by, uh, about Build AR by our friend Rob Manson. Take it away, man. Welcome. I'm Rob, and this is um, Build AR. We're the WordPress of the AR industry. Uh, so in 2009, we released the world's first web-based AR content management system. And this was an experiment. But the response was awesome, and we found that there was a real demand for this type of platform. Um, a year ago here at the Orgies, we released uh, Build AR 1.0. And this really set the new standard for location-based AR tools. Uh, the response to that was awesome as well, and we had people from all over the world signing up um, to use our drag-and-drop, easy-to-use interface. And some of them created some really cool AR content. In January this year, we released um, Build R 2.0, and this supported natural feature tracking using layer vision. Um, and again, Build R, we believe, really set the standard for ease of use. So you can just simply upload your content via your web browser, use our drag and drop uh, interface, um, it's that easy. Here's a campaign that one of our customers created. Uh, their users just point the phone at their brochure and this loads the content and links them into the AR experience. Um, here you can see how good the tracking for layer vision is, it performs really, really well. <laughs> um, Projected onto this um, is a streaming video, and there's some buttons that link off to uh, Facebook or to enter a competition. Um, it's really that easy. Build R is, we believe, the easiest way to create a really rich, fully functional AR. Um, but this is really just the beginning. So what I'd now like to talk about is what we're um, developing next. So soon we're releasing Build R 3.0. And we believe that's going to build a really a new wave in computing itself. This is not just an extension of AR, but we believe that this is a new vision for the web itself. So welcome to the awesome web. The web has become a lot more than just pages of information. Now, modern mobile web browsers, they can access your location, your camera, and so much more. And these augmented web experiences really turn the web upside down, the old web. We're making it easy to upgrade your website by just adding a single line of JavaScript. And this adds uh, what we call a doodad, basically just to the side of your page. And you can use this to peel back the old web and uncover the awesome web underneath. So the awesome web obviously makes it easy to present your location content in maps. Um, but also allows you to overlay all sorts of other content onto your view of the real world through the camera view from your device. You can load uh, video calls, um, live data feeds, all kinds of information that you can imagine. And this really merges um, traditional apps, AR, and streaming video. And this is all working inside the mobile web browser. Now you can really create apps that you, know, you can really connect with. So we're seeing support for this starting to arrive in the different mainstream browsers now. And we have a fully working um, um, JavaScript toolkit that we're about to release as an open source project. Um, so the, the toolkit you can really think of as jQuery for uh, the augmented web. And of course, Build R 3.0 will be the quickest and easiest way to get started uh, making your site awesome. And we hope that you're as excited about this new vision for AR as we are. We think this is really the best way to get AR into the largest audience that's available, and that's the mobile web. Thank you very much. Yeah, you want to go first this time? Yeah, I, I think <laughs> it's uh, very cool. It, it would be a cookie cutter design, I imagine, initially. But the really cool thing about it is it would just get out to a broad audience quickly yeah. and help people understand it. And then I guess crowdsource it, have people do unusual things, and then adapt it later. 
Well, so there's the open source toolkit, so people can use that to just create their own uh, content, and it's really a, a, a scene generation and management sort of system, uh, but it's really easy for people, any sort of JavaScript developer to use. But then on top of that, we've got our content management platform, so that makes it even easier for people that aren't developers to just create content. Well, the thing I like about it is exposing the greatest number of people yeah, possible. Absolutely. Even if it's rudimentary, I think that's really cool, making it that simple. Yeah. So that's that's my. Back off. Back Safe distance. Safe distance now. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Uh, that was an awesome presentation, Rob. That was great. <laughs> um, so um, just one question. So is this the web, the awesome web, is that still based on Layer? Uh, no. So that's uh, using uh, our open source JavaScript framework, mm -hmm. and then. It's really an event handler model, so you can plug in all types of things. So uh, location changes can be an event, image processing can be an event, um, feeds from other devices can be events, and they can all be things that drive the scene. And all the web browsers will support it? Uh, not yet, but there's lots of movement. So at the moment, um, Opera on Android works out of the box, um, and there's pre-release versions of Chrome and, and lots of different um, things. So the, the standards are there, but they're just slowly being implemented. Yet. So one web browser will support it? Yes. Great. On yes. Android? Yes. Great. For the moment. Excellent. I was actually curious to hear a lot more about the uh, image recognition features mm -hmm. on 3.0. Is that something you're handling on the client with your own software? Uh, no. So for 2.0, we use the Layer Vision platform, so that works really well. Um, in 3.0, we're treating them uh, for the, if you choose to use Awesome Web as opposed to the Layer output, yeah. um, then they're just plugins. So there's the JSR toolkit. Um, there's some other natural feature tracking libraries as well. You can compile some quite good things into JavaScript now from C++ libraries. What I find interesting about this is it might allow a much more Darwinian approach <laughs> for people where you can get a lot more applications out there very quickly and you know, survival of the fittest, and I think it'll just kind of bring forward the state of the art much more quickly. Absolutely, and that's what we're really hoping for. It's a much more uh, sort of open web style, view source type environment. Yeah. Um, I really like the second half, and I think you should like scrap the first half and just go for the awesome next wave of computing with you know okay. the embedded video and so forth. Because you're even using kind of old-fashioned web metaphors there, which aren't particularly friendly. I mean, I happen to be a WordPress user. I've even got like the WordPress logo, and yeah. I'm from Texas, just like WordPress. But uh, WordPress is really a dusty piece of junk. Yeah. You know, it's not friendly, and it's like completely beset with just awful spam problems. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you, you know, if you're going to make a comparison to a web-based thing, you should be talking about Pinterest or Tumblr or something that's like just dead easy and silly. And the Facebook thing, I think, could become a liability. Yeah. I'd actually be more interested in something that like guarantees that my content will never be on Facebook, like a. Fa <laughs> a Facebook proofing button. You know, I was just kind of, <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, I, I love these guys. They were heroes a year ago in the Arab Spring, but now Zuckerberg is like dark shadows. You know, there's something <laughs> terrifying about the guy. Um, so, you know, I think you need to move right onto the augmented web and the awesome web. And I really like your doodat. I'm not sure why, but it's something about it captures the imagination. It's just like a cool icon. and. The, you know, the ability to just peel off a web page yeah. and then do all this other stuff is, is sexy and exciting, and I can see how it would work under Java, and it seems like plausible. Awesome. Um, you know, combining apps, AR, video, and a browser all on the same device at the same time looks like a complete train wreck to me. So I would like to see some hint that they kind of somehow interoperate smoothly and they're not going to freeze the screen while the video is mm -hmm. attempting to download or or whatever, but you know, it, it's like kind of got it going on. So I'd like lose the web 2.0s, web 1.0 yeah, stuff, yeah. Yeah. and uh, you know, play up the doodat aspects. But you know, other than that, it was like kind of groovy. Awesome. Just, you know, good luck with that. Thank you very much. Yeah.